Welcome! In this video, we will look at the benefits of whitelisting the FuelSense mobile app and the process for whitelisting it on your smartphone. Whitelisting allows FuelSense to provide accurate kilometer reporting, precise route mapping, and live updates even when your phone is offline. Inaccurate travel data can lead to inaccurate reports and long expense claims. To ensure the FuelSense captures your travel details accurately, you need to whitelist the app on your smartphone. This process varies from brand to brand. In this video, we will be covering the process for iPhone, Oppo, Xiaomi, Samsung, and Vivo. If you don't see your smartphone's brand on screen, kindly refer to the step-by-step -step whitelisting guide PDF in the description. For whitelisting the FuelSense app on the iPhone, go to Settings, click on FuelSense. Set the location to Always and turn on Calendars, Motion and Fitness, Camera, Background, App Refresh, and Mobile Data. And finally, make sure that the FuelSense app is always active. The FuelSense app is now whitelisted on your iPhone. For whitelisting the FuelSense app on a Vivo phone, go to Settings. Under Battery, select Background Power Consumption Management. Select the FuelSense app and select Don't Restrict Background Power Usage. In Settings, select Apps. Tap the FuelSense app and tap on Permissions. Set the permissions for Location, Storage, Calendar, Camera, Phone, and Physical Activity to Allow. Finally, make sure that the FuelSense app is logged down from the App menu. The FuelSense app is now whitelisted on your Vivo smartphone. For whitelisting the FuelSense app on a Xiaomi or a Redmi phone, Tap and hold on to the FuelSense app and select App Info. Under Battery Saver, select No Restrictions. Go back and enable Auto Start. Now go to App Permissions. Under the location, select Allow All the Time. Go back and go to the Other Permissions tab. Enable Modify System Settings and Permanent Notification. The FuelSense app is now whitelisted on your Xiaomi or Redmi smartphone. For whitelisting the FuelSense app on an OPPO smartphone, go to the settings, select battery. Ensure that power saving mode and super power saving mode are turned off. Under the more battery settings, turn on high performance mode. Go under optimize battery use and select the FuelSense app and select don't optimize. Go back to the battery settings and under app battery management, select the FuelSense app. Turn on Allow Background Activity and Allow Auto Launch. Now go to App Management. Under Auto Launch Apps, find the FuelSense app and enable it. Go back and under the Special App Access, select the Modify System Settings and enable Allow System Setting Modification. Select Location. Make sure that Location is enabled. Under Wi-Fi and Bluetooth Scanning, make sure that both Wi-Fi Scanning and Bluetooth Scanning are enabled. Then go into the Location Permission section for the FuelSense app and set the value to Allow All the Time. And finally, make sure that the FuelSense app is locked in the App menu. The FuelSense app is now whitelisted on your Oppo smartphone. For whitelisting the FuelSense app on a Samsung smartphone, go to Settings, select Battery. Make sure that Power Saving Mode is disabled. Then go under More Battery Settings and disable adaptive battery. Now go to location. Make sure that location is enabled. Under location services, ensure that both Wi-Fi scanning and Bluetooth scanning are enabled. Go back and select app permissions. Under location, set the value to allow all the time. Go back and under physical activity, set the value to allow. Select device care. Click the dots and select Automation and disable Auto Optimize Daily. Go to the App Info section for field sets. Under Battery, set the value to Unrestricted. Go back and under the Change System Settings, enable Allow Permission. The FuelSense app is now whitelisted on your Samsung smartphone. If you had a problem with the above processes or your smartphone brand wasn't listed, please refer to the step-by-step -step whitelisting guide PDF available in the description. Thanks for watching.